Hey guys, Nick here with TechWordDo. In this video, we're going to download torrents with our Synology. And uh, we're going to go ahead and download Disk Station on our system here. And we're going to download a torrent. And we're going to go through just a couple of the settings there and how to get that rolling. All right. So, first step you want to do is open up Package Center on your Synology. Of course, this is after you log into it. So, uh, what you want to do now is we'll go to Recommended. And download station is the first one up here. You could always search it too in the top. We'll click install. So it's gonna go ahead and download and install it for us. Should be pretty quick. Yeah, all right, should be done any second now. So this is the newest version. All right. Starting, perfect. So. It's going to go ahead and start it for us automatically, so it's always running in the background. As you can see, my CPU is, whoops, my CPU was using a bunch of storage there. You can see it here at the top, or a bunch of um, processing power, but successfully installed. Awesome. We will now go ahead and click on the main menu here at the top left. Click Download Station. And here we are. So we got Download Station installed. Very easy, very quick. Let's go to the settings and we'll just kind of go through uh, a few of these here. So uh, general, temporary location. Okay, so yep, it's gonna be on our, my volume one for my uh, drive here. We're gonna go ahead, go ahead, auto extract here. We can set this up. Let's say if it is a zip file and you want it extracted, it will do that for you. I'm not gonna set that up notification so let's say your um, your download finishes you'll get a, um, a notification here which is actually a very cool um, tool there for us let's just head down to general here download schedule immediately process order by date okay so location so this might be something you want to go ahead and touch so default destination folder so if you click select I have two drives here Yours might be different. Under files, I actually have one called download. So I created that folder. Downloads, there's actually nothing in it at the moment, but I'm gonna select that. So files, downloads. Okay, file hosting. All right, looks like these are just a bunch of plugins here. Payload plugins, let's see, BT. So it's gonna give us our poor max upload and download rates. BT encryption protocol, automatically stop seeding. All right, so that's, that's pretty cool. All right, BT search. So it looks like you can, uh, you can actually search these automatically and add other uh, search engines. And then there's a couple other uh, tools here as well. FTP server and uh, RSS feeds. So we've done what we needed for now. Um, let's actually just check this real quick. Oh, watched folder. So I missed this. So this is very cool too. So if you have a folder on your um, drive here, let's say it's called um, under files and torrents and you have a folder called watched, you can put that in there, put a torrent file in there. It will automatically start downloading it. So it'll pop it in here and it will uh, download. Once it completes, it'll move it to that download folder. So it's a very nifty tool. If you're, let's say you're away and you want to upload something quickly from, let's say your phone or something, it's a neat tool. We'll click OK. All right, so let's go ahead and add a torrent quickly. So you can create a download task via an upload. So destination folder, we want it there. You can actually enter a URL here and it will find that torrent itself. But we're just going to open a file, browse, desktop. This is where I stored it. So I have Raspbian and Jesse here. So I want to install this on my Raspberry Pi. So that's what I want to download now. So we'll click OK. We will click OK here. OK, file size 1.46 gigs. And we're going to create it. Awesome. So now it's going to go ahead and download that. All right, cool, so there we go. So it finally started. For some reason, it took a few minutes for it to start. Might have been just searching for the peers, 
but um, it's actually going at a very fast rate and that looks all pretty good so let's see if there's any um, file there so we're gonna go ahead and open up our file explorer we're gonna go ahead and type in my drive there which is which I named it Apollo so I'm gonna search Apollo files downloads let's see it might actually not be here yet it might once it completes it probably moves there we'll go ahead and uh, give it a couple more minutes all right so it finished and it actually popped right into the folder here for me so it's the whole zip archive so as you can see this is a zip file if I were to have it with the auto extract in the settings that we saw it would have just taken this out for me taken out the image file that's in here let's double check that real quick so yep it is a dot image it would have pulled it out for me which would have been great would have been would have saved me a little bit of time but um, that's pretty much it so we went over uh, downloading um, download station we went over adding a torrent and a few of the settings in here and it's uh, pretty simple. So if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Like and subscribe, and uh, have a great day, guys.